close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever try That is address. Okay. It is with great pleasure that I now call on Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam for his convocation address. Dr. Kalam. Dear young friends, good morning to all of you. I would like to, on beautiful convocation hall, so I'm highly motivated inspired to give address, my convocation address. First, I would like to greet Honorable Cardinal Tyler, Chancellor, Simon Fraser University, uh, Professor Andrew Pete Petter, President of and Vice Chancellor, Shri Ravi Shankar and CG, and Sri Baj Dahan, and all other dignitaries, ladies, gentlemen, and dear students. Uh, friends, I am indeed delighted uh, to be in the Simon Fraser University, which is ranked uh, first among the Canada's comprehensive universities uh, for the last three consecutive years. I was inspired by the thought, thought of cooperative education, where education, where students alternating between paid work semesters and study semesters, graduating with contacts and marketable skills, and a year of experience in the field. This is the unique thought which should be practiced by many universities across the world in the present global environment. My greeting to SFU for such a noble action. I consider it a great honor to receive the honorary degree of Doctor of Law of the great Simon Fraser University. I have been thinking how the power of minds can be brought together for identifying the benefit of the society now and in the future. The world today is integrally connected through four rapid connectivities. They are environment, people, the economy and the ideas. We all know that global warming, climate change, energy independence, safe drinking water, diseases and poverty are no longer problem of individual nations and they are planetary problem. Friends, we have seen whether a bank collapses across the Atlantic Ocean, generating economic crisis in multiple countries or volcano erupting in a European island country, disrupting the thousands of flight flying the area, or Fukushima earthquake and tsunami in Japan, or a terrorist attack in some part of the world, seeds a great alarm 
sends a great alarm uh, to the entire world to take stock of impacts and take collective actions. Similarly, ideas and innovation are no longer geographically or politically confined. An invention made totally uh, today somewhere takes no time to find its market thousands of miles away. With this world scenario, I have been propagating a system, what is called World Knowledge Platform. World Knowledge Platform. The purpose of the World Knowledge Platform is to bring together the core competencies of multiple nations and their institutions to benefit nation with the economic development coupled with peace and prosperity. India has gone through such experience of establishing world knowledge platform which I would like to share with you friends. One is Pan-African E-Network, the mission initiated by India which benefits a 53 African nation through providing telemedicine, tele-education, e-governance services with an investment of about $125 million to meet the Millennium Development Goals of Africa. Another program between India and Australia is concerned with the eradication of avoidable blindness in the world using the core competencies of both the nation in the field of ophthalmology. Same way India and Russia has jointly invested about $150 million each to create a world-class first supersonic cruise missile using their core competencies. Today, it has generated business volume of $10 billion benefiting both nations. There are, there are examples for regional cooperation which will bring sustainable development in the, in the nation and also to the world. Hence, it is suggested to the world community to establish the world knowledge platform to arrive at a win-win situation which will bring regional prosperity leading to global peace and prosperity. And World Vision 2030 is subset of World Knowledge Platform. It calls for a World Vision 2030, a world of nations where the divide between rural and the urban rich and poor developed and developing has narrowed down. A world of nation where there is equitable distribution and adequate access to on energy and quality water. A world of nation where core competencies of each nation are identified, missions of synergizing the core competencies of different nations lead to economic advantage and a faster development for all the societies. A world of nation where all the students of all societies are imported education with value system. A world of nation where all where, where affordable quality health care is available to all. A world of nation where governance is responsive, transparent and corruption free. A world in which every nation is able to give clean environment to all its citizens. A world that is prosperous, healthy, secure, devoid of terrorism, peaceful and happy, and continues with the social growth path. A world of nation with creative leadership who ensure effective mechanism to resolve conflict between nation and societies in a timely manner, keeping overall peace and prosperity of the world as a goal. So friends, on conclusion, once again, I thank all the members of Simon Fraser University for honoring me with the Doctor of Law. Uh, my greetings and best wishes to all the members of SFU success in their educational mission and may God bless you all friends.